Alright, so I've been playing around with the new CineStyle color preset for Canon HDSLRs. It just came out from Technicolor. And if you haven't checked it out already, you should. Uh, there's a, I'll put a download link in the info section of this video. Uh, but it's great. It works with the 5D Mark II and other HDSLRs from Canon. Uh, but what it does is it kind of adds some latitude, a lot more detail, and a lot more ability to color grade in post. Uh, I've been really impressed with it so far. And uh, it's just a great tool to be working with. But I really wanted to kind of see how far it could actually be pushed. So we were on a shoot where we are going to be shooting outdoors. Um, it was a cloudy day. So I should have been white balanced to 5600 Kelvin at least. Uh, because it was cloudy, a lot bluer, probably would have been closer to six or 7000 degrees Kelvin uh, for correct white balance. But I decided to shoot at 3200 degrees Kelvin. So completely incorrect white balance, uh, what you would white balance to a tung tungsten light fixture. So we shot the entire day and uh, I went into post and here's an example of what we had. We had the original footage here which was very blue, probably not something you would want to use, but I did some color grading and I was able to achieve a very a, gr a great look, something I was very happy with. I had warm tones, uh, I had a little contrast, not too much. I kind of liked having the, the latitude look, not having crushed shadows and stuff. Um, so again, this isn't necessarily what it would have looked like if I had shot at the correct white balance of 5600 Kelvin in the camera, uh, but I was able to achieve a look that I was very happy with in color grading. And basically that's because, the first of all, the Technicolor had a lot more latitude, a lot more detail that I was retaining. Um, and I wasn't burning things in like saturation and contrast. I was able to uh, manipulate those a lot more in post. I used uh, Premiere with Magibolt looks together to do the color grading and again I was very happy with the, uh, the look I was able to achieve. So anyways, stay tuned though, we're going to do a lot more training on CineStyle. We're going to dedicate an entire episode of HDSLR 101 just to CineStyle, how to shoot and how to color grade it. Uh, and also we're going to do an uh, episode of DVTV on uh, how to do car budget car shoots. So anyways, stay tuned for that. If you're not a subscriber already, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and we'll see you soon.